The next category honours the legends in the journalism profession and gives recognition to an individual who's committed their life to the profession and aspired to make changes where necessary along the way. So please welcome on stage Mary Papaya, who will help in handing out the award for the Lifetime Achievers Award. Mary. Lifetime recipient is a feisty media freedom activist and an award-winning journalist. He is an author, writer, and outspoken media freedom lobbyist who is still regarded by many of his colleagues and peers as a true gentleman. His courage has earned him numerous awards and accolades in South Africa, Africa, and the world. His name is synonymous with the many groundbreaking events, debates and forums for media freedom in Africa and the rest of the world. He has made and continues to make a significant contribution to ensure South Africa's media operates in an environment free of intimidation and suppression. He is a former editor and general manager of the noteworthy anti-apartheid newspaper, The Rand Daily Mail. As a young journalist at the newspaper, he was shot and wounded by apartheid police while on a reporting assignment. He also served as a news editor on the Sunday Times and worked on newspapers in Sussex, Cumbria and in London. During the apartheid era, he headed the Media Defence Trust, set up to defend journalists, publications, film and video producers, broadcasters and authors against court actions or other censorship practices. In the run-up to South Africa's first democratic elections in 1994, as chairman of the Freedom of Expression Institute, he was appointed to the Independent Media Commission to ensure state broadcasting and state-financed publications were impartial. Apart from his past journalistic roles, he also has an illustrious career as a media professional who served on a range of media organizations, locally and abroad, including executive positions on the International Press Institute, the Freedom of Expression Institute, and the Media Institute of Southern Africa, and chair of the Media Freedom Subcommittee of the SA National Editors Forum. He continues to address international and other gatherings on media freedom issues and most recently was interviewed extensively on the proposed Protection of Information Bill and the ANC's proposed Media Appeals Tribunal. Recently, he was quoted as saying, the tribunal has nothing to do with promoting press freedom, but everything to do with the way the press reports on the conduct of governance, including the conduct of cabinet ministers and other senior officials of the party. They want the press to report the African National Congress's version of what is happening. He is the editor of Southern Africa Report, a weekly current affairs publication launched in 1983. He is the chairperson of the SA Press Council, which administers the Press Ombudsman's system of press self-regulation. He is also a council member of the South African National Editors Forum where he's been awarded several times for his outstanding contribution to the organization's lobby for a free media in South Africa. The 2010 Vodacom Lifetime Achiever Award goes to Mr. Raymond Lowe. Absolutely overwhelmed. You know, it's, it's a little difficult when your friends gang up on you and say you've done a good job. Uh, you get a nice warm feeling. 
And that's the way I feel right now. And thank you very much indeed uh, to the judges of this organization for having accorded me this great honor. And I'm truly appreciative. But I, I was in Vienna in September uh, in that magnificent city hall that they have, standing in front of uh, a group of people, 20, 20 of them, who had been, they were the remnants of 60 people who had been nominated as press heroes by the International Press Institute uh, for their, their contribution to press freedom and journalism, which was in many cases to lose their lives. And I, I feel in, uh, while my, my warmth for the um, nominate for me being nominated for this particular for receiving this award uh, is tempered by the fact that I feel extremely humble and felt very really humble in front of those people that night. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen.